All right, y'all. So I wanted to give an update on this uh, whole situation because I had made a video about it earlier. Um, a judge has finally ended Michael Over's conservatorship. So let's just get into it real quick. <laughs> So ESPN says, um, judge ending Michael Ower's conservatorship with the Tui family. So a Tennessee judge said Friday that she is ending the conservatorship. Um, so, but his financial issues and all this stuff will continue. Shelby County probate court judge Kathleen Gomez said she is terminating the agreement reached in 2004 that allowed Sean and Leanne uh, Tui to control Ower's finances. Or signed the agreement when he was 18 and living with a couple as he had been recruited by colleges as a star high school football player. We know, we know about the blind side. Gomez said she was not dismissing the case or asked that the Tuis provide a financial accounting of the money um, that they used, but, or that they got um, as part of the agreement. And they said uh, he also claimed that they used his name, image, and likeness to enrich themselves and lied to him that the agreement meant that the Tuis were adopting him. So in my head, I just keep imagining like these villains sitting around this guy and, and showing him some papers as a 18 year old, as a green 18 year old and saying, oh, well, girl, we finna adopt you. Yeah, just all you gotta do is sign these papers. And it's a whole entire conservative. You see what I'm saying? I obviously don't know how the process works exactly or if he even needed to sign anything or what exactly he signed. But it's just like the level of villain villainy, the level of, of white <laughs> racist villainy, girl. Like, are, are you serious? So the article goes on to say Ower's conservatorship was approved despite the fact that he was over 18 years old and... Um, had no diagnosed physical or psychological disabilities. The judge said she was disturbed that such an agreement was even reached in the first place. She said she had never seen in her 43-year career a conservatorship agreement reached with someone who was not disabled and that the conservatorship should, should have ended long ago. It's interesting that recently this conversation about conservatorships has really um come to the forefront in a lot of cases I, I don't know obviously i think the whole situation with britney spears had a lot to do with why we're see I, I just wonder like if that situation had not gone on if we weren't having conversations about conservatorships would we have even found out about this in the first place you know um i can't i'm not an expert on conservatorships i'm sure there's a lot of people who are disabled folks and advocates and stuff who have much better, you know, knowledge of it and the ethics of it and stuff. But the fact that the judge has said that in her 43 year career, she ain't seen nothing like this is so, they they need to pay for this bullshit. The Tuvies need to pay for this shit. Like this is ridiculous. Um, The judge said, I cannot believe it got done. Well, you better believe it. Um, Ower and the Tuvies listened in by video uh, conference call, but did not speak. Lawyers for both parties had agreed that the agreement should end, but the case will continue to address Ower's claims. So Harris saying that in August, Ower filed a petition in court and accused the Tuis of lying to him by having him sign papers, making them his conservators uh, rather than his adoptive parents nearly two decades ago. Ower wanted the conservatorship to be terminated, a full accounting of the money earned off his name and story, and to be paid what is due with interest. I'm glad that was added with interest. Don't play with me. Uh, he accused a couple of falsely representing themselves as his adoptive parents, saying he discovered in February that the conservatorship agreed to in 2004 was not in the arrangement uh, that he thought it was and that it provided him no familial relationship to them. Over claims the Tuis have kept him in the dark about financial dealings uh, related to his name, image, and likeness during the 19-year life of the agreement. 19 years, my God. So now the Tuis have uh, responded in just the way that you would expect somebody who could even do this type of bullshit to somebody else like this, like, would respond. <laughs> like, they said that, oh, well, you know, He's lying. Uh, th these claims are outlandish and hurtful and absurd. And this is a shakedown by Ower. And it's just like, you are really, you are, both your lawyer, all, all lawyers involved agree that this uh, agreement should end. 
And so you're trying to point fingers at the one who was in the conservatorship and say that, oh, girl, this person tried to take advantage of me. You have got to be... <laughs> You have got to get a goddamn grip. Like, I'm so sorry. You have get, you've got to get a grip. This part here was especially ugly. The TUI said the conservatorship was the tool chosen to comply with the NCAA rules uh, that would have kept Ower from attending Ole Miss, where Sean TUI had been a standout basketball player. So this is what the TUI said in the filing. When it, when it became clear that the petitioner could not consider going to the University of Mississippi as a result of living with the respondents, the NCAA made it clear that he could attend Ole Miss if he was a part of the Tui family in some fashion. And it's just like, are you trying to say that, girl, the reason why we put his ass in this conservatorship is because, girl, if we didn't do it, if he wasn't connected to us in some way, um, then that he wouldn't have gone, been able to go to university to play football? Like, is that what you're saying, girl? <laughs> is that what you, is that what you're saying mama because you're literally acting like oh well um he had to be a part of the family uh and that's the only way that the ncaa would have let him play and it's just like yeah girl y'all could have adopted his <laughs> what what do you what do you mean unless i'm not understanding this shit right i mean yes there's no way to understand idiocy like there's real no way so i i'm not gonna rack my brain trying to do this shit but it's just like, girl, you cannot be serious. Like, oh, girl, we took it out because without it, he wouldn't have been made into the football star that he was today. He wouldn't have been able to attend Ole Miss. It's like, bitch, you're going to... Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Clock out for me, mama. Clock out for me, mama. You're going to have to get the fuck up off them hundreds of thousands of millions of fucking dollars, bitch. That's what the fuck you're going to have to do. You're going to have to stand the fuck up. You're going to have to sell some fucking furniture. You're going to have to sell that big-ass TV that I know your ass done. You know, watch your interviews on. You're going to have to... Get up off them fucking accounts, bitch. I don't care where y'all got them fucking piggy bank, them coins stuck in the goddamn couch, bitch. You're going to have to get the fuck up off of that coin. You're going to have to get the fuck up off of that coin. That's all I, that's the, all I know. That's all I know. Sitting in my face talking about, oh, girl, girl this is a shakedown. Bitch, you exploited this man, this black man, for, for decades. Decades. A de decades. Ain't gonna sit up here talking about this a shakedown, bitch. I would be like, girl, oh, Mike, Michael O is very smart for going the legal route. Because, bitch, I'd be like, bitch, I'm gonna show you a shakedown, ho. <laughs> bitch, what the fuck? I, Michael, I, Michael better get every red fucking cent from these ugly ass bitches. That's what the fuck I know. That's what the fuck I know. He better get every, every cent from these ugly ass bitches, okay? On that note, I just wanna update y'all, girl. Thank you so much for watching and make sure that you have a good